Hello Capricorn and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading going from September 6th to September 13th. This space has been cleared and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind. So we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle that busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know when Capricorn content is uploaded. Capricorn content comes out every single Wednesday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal read, please feel free to check out that description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and would like to subscribe, please click on that link to my Patreon account in the description box below. Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings depending upon subscription level. Also down there, you will find the links to all of my social media contacts on every day on all of those social media contacts are links for the YouTube videos of your daily astrology, your daily Elder Futhark rune, your daily uh, Romance Angel Oracle card, your daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card, your daily Starseed Oracle card, and your daily Priestess of Light Oracle card. All of those things can be found with an energy summary posted here on YouTube every single day. Also down there, you will find a link to my Red Bubble store. And I am very excited to show you guys a couple of things that I ordered for myself that came in. Here is my new Adventures in Pixie Land uh, mouse pad, which I very much uh, enjoy since I had a need for a new mouse pad. And here is one of my desk mats. I very much enjoy uh, using this. I do, uh, so at points, my intention is to order enough of these. So randomly as I desire to change the background to our readings, this would be on this table. Also good for when I am at festivals. Ooh, I'm sorry guys. Or uh, when I am at other places like that, where it might just have, uh, you know, a tablecloth down on a table. It's a good uh, piece to put down that'll help keep everything in place and do readings on top of it. So if you are in the moods for some retail therapy, please go uh, check that out. If you, uh, this, the desk mat here, this rose, is an actual, well, was an actual rose. It's not, it doesn't exist anymore. It was on uh, one of my trees outside, one of my bushes, I should say, outside. Because I have on property uh, four rose bushes in the front yard and three in the back. So uh, I very blessedly get to make all the uh, potpourri, or potpourri or rose oil that I so desire because I have a natural source that likes to bloom multiple times a year. It's very blessed for me. The rose bushes were one of the appeals of the house, but this is an actual rose from my backyard and I just uh, stylized the photo a little bit before creating this mat. When I say I take nature photography, I'm talking about the kinds of things that you get to see uh, posted on YouTube here as the you know one to three minute reels. Any photo that you see in any one of those evening walks at any point can end up on a product if I like that photo enough. I've uh, done that with another one just recently, which you'll see a, a link for up on um, Adventures in Pixie Land in uh, both YouTube and Instagram. Um, no, well, not YouTube. I'm sorry. Instagram and Facebook. And you should, I do believe that should also carry over to Twitter for one of those uh, new pictures that is now a desk mount. I have ordered it. When it gets here, you guys will see it all, you know. I'll use it. Let's get started on this astrology. On the 6th, we have a last quarter moon or fourth quarter moon, the waning crescent moon. Spend time being mindful and going with the flow in overthinker Gemini with that self-focused sun in practical Virgo conjunct Mercury retrograde in practical Virgo. So, um, conjunct is a less than a 10 degree angle 
Mercury is in retrograde. That's a lot of Mercury energy and it being in retrograde. So it's a time for cleaning up. So you can start that goal. We're building towards this Virgo new moon, which means we're building towards about to start a whole new phase, their cycle of a project, our life, your, whatever it is. Whatever it is that you feel like you're starting up, something new is coming because new moons come every month. So new always comes every month, right? And it's just a matter of what is new about it. But it is a buildup. We had a full moon in Pisces so we could clear out our subconscious for this new moon in Virgo. That was part of the, the purpose there. On the 7th, still a waning crescent moon, still in Gemini, still trying to go with the flow and the overthinker, but now it's square. Illusionary Neptune in dreamy Pisces. Square is a 90 degree angle in the night sky. On that particular day, you will feel drained. Probably because the day before it with all that retrograde mercury energy. So you are going to feel drained and it's okay to feel drained get some take some rest it's going to be important that you get some rest the eighth is the best day for some problem solving in case you have any of that going on and then we have september 11th we should take a moment of silence for those who either fell or uh those who were affected by the loss of someone, people, place, or thing, doesn't matter. On this 11th, there's a waning crescent moon in passionate Leo, conjunct Venus, now direct, yay, in passionate Leo. People might be needy today. There might be people who require your assistance or just, you could be a person who's in need or you could be a person who is, uh, you know, helping someone who is needy. You will also enjoy being in other people's company this day. You will, if somebody comes to you with a need and you can, you know, help them, you're going to. So you're going to feel compelled to do so, and it's a natural thing. Go with it. The universe is sending out healing energy, and what better way to honor those who have been hurt or, uh, you know, lost their lives in the course of a tragedy than to help other people who are in need. On the 12th, we have a waning crescent moon, still in passionate Leo. So still trying to go with the flow. And it's, it vo goes void, of course, at 11.06 a.m. EDT. So but all morning long, it's in this, uh, this waning crescent moon is in Leo. And it is square, 90 degree angle, the night sky. Disruptive Uranus retrograde in foundational Taurus. Someone might upset you today. Somebody might be deliberately trying to upset you today. Try to see things from their point of view. Don't be overly focused on, you know, only your opinion is right. They're trying to express something to you. So you'd be best off, you know, listening. You don't have to necessarily do what they want. Just listen. Listen and try to find, you know, where they're broken or hurt on the underneath because then it'll get you to the heart of what is uh, has to happen here capricorn september 6th through the 13th 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 Capricorn September 6th take that thank you through the 13th Capricorn September 6th wow are there any more of those like, how does that happen? No. 
Capricorn, September 6th through the 13th. Capricorn. Okay. Give me a second here, Capricorn, so I get these tidy. Good look here. Yeah, you can see all the cards pretty good. Okay. We can get started here. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I hope that this reading resonates with you. If you are a new viewer, welcome. I will clarify all these cards. But before I do, past, present, near future, someone to you, you to the someone, balance, outcome, summary. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. There is no gender in tarot. You are either walking up to someone and talking, or someone is walking up to you and talking. And this whole reading is a conversation between you and at least one other person. Also in this channel, relationship is a continued interaction between any two people. I'm going to describe the energy. You're going to place it on the person that sounds like. And then that's the relationship we're talking about. Also, some cards do mean groups. This card does indeed mean groups. Because I mean, like, it's one person with all those wands. So it's a group pointing at her. Notice, well, we can get to that. When we get to that card, we'll go in more detail there. Five of Cups. That is sadness. You were very sad about something in your past. Or someone was very sad. If it's not you, it would be somebody that expressed their sadness to you. If you peep, there is a trail of cups that are already emptied, dumping this one into an abyss. This one is, they're holding that one in their hand. But if you look at this trail of sadness, it's coming off from the back of this person. There's something in this person's past that makes them sad. Temperance card. Sagittarius energy. Could be interacting with a Sagittarius, but it's not necessary. You could be just be trying to balance something bring yourself back into balance. Maybe you're trying to balance that that sadness, that sadness for yourself, or you know, maybe that someone else being sad and emoting to you is being balanced. Seven of Cups, there was some sort of confusion here. That could be part of why there was a need for balance is because there's sadness and confusion and maybe you don't know quite what to do about it. Sun card is Leo energy. That is something uh, being illuminated for you. Now, the sun card is also the happiest card in the deck. So let's hope that it's all about happiness. So we're going to clarify to find out. Page of Cups, some sort of apology possibly coming into you. Something that maybe you didn't think was possible. What's really standing out for me today in this, uh, this card is two things. So one, you know, something you thought maybe when pigs would fly. What was that? And then two peep that. You got their heart shape that they're making there. It looks like it's some sort of offer. On, the, on that card, or whatever it is that's in the middle of those hands, that looks like the symbol for an atom to me. You know, like the swirl and loops that it is in, in an atom when they were trying to show you the motion of an atom. Queen of Cups. Like, that feels like a little get, get to the heart of the matter is what it feels like to me. Queen of Cups, that's any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Cancer, also a card of Gemini. It's also a need to use your intuition. This person could also just be in this Queen of Cups energy. Okay, because some people... All right, uh... When somebody has got their divine feminine in balance, okay, when someone has their divine feminine energy, you know, when they're in it, when you're interacting with a divine, because we all have divine feminine and divine masculine energy within us. If you are interacting from your divine feminine, or if any, regardless of what gender you are, or the other person you're interacting with from your divine feminine, uh, then in the tarot, they would be the Empress card. And the Empress is every queen put together. And what does that mean? It means it's a person who can slide very easily. Their energy slides around. They can just as quickly be the Queen of Swords and be like, nah, 
and then turn around and be like, oh, you poor baby with the queen of cups and then come at somebody with, you know, passion and spark and life force with the queen of wands or be very practical and rise and grind and, you know, live out their life and do what they handle, what they need to handle without an excessive amount of emotions on the queen of swords or the queen of pentacles. Those are not very emotional uh, states of being. One is practical, one is logical. What is logical is often what is practical, but it is not always the case. The Empress jumps in and out of all of that energy. So this could, person could be a water sign or a Gemini. They could be somebody who's embodying the Queen of Cups energy. You take it as it resonates. It could even be you, and it doesn't matter. Seven of Wands, someone to you, they're feeling defensive. There's fingers pointing at them. You know, there's uh, if they feel like they're under attack, they're reacting from uh, fear. Um, if you see here, this is the solar plexus chakra, right? So it's the Archangel Michael. That is defense. They're defensive, and they have a, they're naturally putting a defensive bubble around them, so that they're being protected from all these wombs. This could be a group of people that comes at that person aggressively, whoever, you know, or an aggressive group that comes at you. Hermit card, Virgo energy. So it could be um, a Virgo you're interacting with. There could be in the Virgo in that group. But it's also entirely possible that you're just in this quiet healing energy. They could be pointing those fingers at you, and you could have gone into healing mode in response. Knight of Cups, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on the Pisces, also a card of Aquarius there in the balance. That's a heartfelt sentiment, some sort of heartfelt action towards a person. Gemini energy there with the lovers in the outcome. It's a choice, a choice definitely being made here. Um, it could be a relationship of some kind. The wheel of fortune. This is divine timing being at play. Uh, it's luck turning in someone's favor. could be there it's time to make this choice the divine is involved in the choice that you have to make two of pentacles that's a balancing balancing out a desire to balance uh could be like trying to home life balance could be that kind of balance knight of swords any air sign aquarius libra gemini heavy on that gemini also card of taurus it could be a choice to walk away from something or it could be a choice to run towards something. You could just be, you know, running towards some balance. But be careful, Knight of Swords is impetuous, impatient energy. They're impulsive. Kind of like the Knight of Wands, but they move faster. Knight of Wands is there for a good time, not a long time. The Knight of Swords isn't trying to play with those emotions. They're very heavily focused on a goal. And they'll run themselves to exhaustion until they get it. So that could be a choice that is happening there. What is this Five of Cups in Capricorn's past? Concern. Okay. What is this Five of Cups in Capricorn's past? What is this Five of Cups in Capricorn's past? What is this Five of Cups in Capricorn's past? And wands, six of uh, pentacles, eight of swords. So sadness, worry, a concern there because something is unequal. Because this person's peep the scales of justice, right? But three people get the. This one person gets three coins. This one gets two. This one gets one. If this were about equality, they would all have two. If it were about equity, each one of them would have three, because he's the one who could afford to give the money away. I mean, if you even peep what's going on there, you could count like five coins right here dropping out of his hand with some more up there in his hand, but absolutely no gestures towards this person at all. Okay, so it's not about equity or equality. It's unequal, give and take. Ted wants, and with some sort of desire to set down a burden, like you're tired of feeling this way about this person. 
What is this temperance card? Or this person is tired of feeling this way about you. Balance and pathway. So you had to find a new way. What's this temperance card? Okay. King of Wands, Ace of Cups. What's this temperance card? Ace of Wands. There is a need to balance something here to find or to find this new path. You had to go find this new transformative path. You peep the butterflies and the light shining through the trees and the flowers. It's a divinely led path because there was some sort of fresh start. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands with a King of Wands. Any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Leo, also card of Cancer. Uh, somebody could have just been in that King of Wands energy, that passionate, driven, you know, focused. It can be aggressive even. It's not in reverse, the King of Wands, so it's not likely to be aggressive. But it could be things happening in a moment of passion that need to be balanced now. What is the Seven of Cups? That act left you feeling confused. Seven of Cups, main female. Okay, so that, uh, if you are a Capricorn and you identify as feminine, then this is you. If you, however, you are not. This is like getting the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on that Aries, also a card of Libra and a card of Pipe Pisces. Pipes, Pisces. Peep the match there, the king and queen of wands, essentially. What is the seven of cups? So you could have been in a relationship with this person. You could have just seen them as an equal. What is the seven of cups? Nine of cups, two of pentacles. So there's going to be overlap there. Temperance card overlap there. Cards are syncing up. That's a good sign. It's a good sign. It means the messenger's getting through properly. There was confusion surrounding balance or juggling and and what makes one happy you could have been doing the juggling they could have been doing the juggling these are two separate people Motion detected at front door that's my uh my confirmations whenever the the door goes off like that there could have been a juggling here for some sort of happiness trying to juggle in order to find happiness or some confusion about because things were out of balance and what you just really wanted to be happy is more than what they just really wanted to be happy depending upon how you identify here what is this sun card in Capricorn's present moment family ring okay that's those are two of the happiest cards in any tarot deck so this is good Capricorn we like this let's keep this up what's the sun card Knight of Pentacles, what's the Sun card? Five of Swords, what is this Sun card? The Emperor, Aries energy. It's a father, card of the fathers, father figures. We could be dealing with a divine couple here. If the Empress falls out, then we definitely would be. Once the emperor and the empress show themselves, it's normal to see like every queen, every king. Knight of Pentacles, any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Virgo. Also card of Leo, which what the sun card is. So some sort of forward motion here, possibly from some friends and family unit. I was hoping this was going to stay happy, happy, but we have the five of swords. There's some sort of argument. It could be with a boss, could be with a different authority figure, or it could be that they're... Uh, Headed towards an argument, or you guys are having gonna have an argument. What is this page of cups? Courthouse. That's Libra energy. What's this page of cups? Could be communications coming in on a legal front. Seven of cups. What's this page of cups? Ace of Pentacles, what's this Page of Cups? So some sort of apology for the confusion in the past. Could be from a Libra. 
could be come in the form of a contract document, paperwork, marriage, something of that nature. Eight of Cups and a walking away. So this person could have walked away in the past. Or this person who brought confusion over here. Either you brought confusion to them or they brought confusion to you. Whatever the situation that was confusing, this that one of those peoples is going to reach out and apologize for the walking away. Ace of Pentacles and going to offer something. A fresh start. What's this Queen of Cups? Three of Pentacles. So it's, you know, it's a marriage card. It's like getting the Three of Pentacles. Contracts, document, paperwork, marriages. What's this Queen of Cups? What's this Queen of Cups? What's this Queen of Cups? Yeah. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> We're only missing one knight. We only have one king and the emperor on the board, so. Queen of Cups, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Cancer, also card of Gemini. Queen of Pentacles, any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, <coughs> heavy on that Capricorn, also card of Sagittarius. It's your energy, you're in the Queen of Pentacles, regardless of your gender. Somebody is blocking Four of Pentacles, some sort of commitment. Queen of Cups with whoever this is for you. You're blocking, or they're blocking, one of you is, some sort of commitment or relationship for a fresh start. That's Aries energy. Full. Somebody took a uh, taking a leap of faith. What's the Seven of Wands? It's the Emperor. So again, it could be a boss. An authority figure, whoever this is here, five of swords, that's having arguments with you. What is this seven of wands? Wheel of fortune. Okay, so this is going to overlap. This will be about this person. What's this seven of wands? Queen of wands. Page of wands. Okay. <laughs> Because again, all right, this is both Aries energy. Queen of Wands, any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on the Aries, also a card of Libra and a card of Pisces. Just this person here with this confusion in the past, okay? They have some sort of overlap there with the Emperor. You could work with this person because the Emperor could totally be an, a boss or something. But there's some sort of divine timing at play here. And they're going to communicate something. Some sort of, you know, trial or tribulation or stress that they've been going under. They're going to want to talk about whatever that, that argument was. I'm going to be happening in your present moment. The Emperor card being in both places. What's this Hermit card? You could have just been quietly healing and working. What's this hermit card? In the time, like, possibly apart from this person, because they walked away, eight of uh, cups. Or they're going to apologize for walking away. But I, I don't think so. I feel like it's more like they're going to walk away. They could be walking away for a new opportunity, okay? But they could be walking away from uh, something in the past and apologizing for walking away in the past and offering a new opportunity with that ace of pentacles. What's this hermit card? What's this Hermit card? Okay, yeah. Queen of Cups. Cancer Pisces energy with the moon. Scorpio energy with the judgment. Queen of Cups, any water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Interesting. Okay, so you could be intuitively blocking a relationship with somebody and taking a leap of faith because you know something's not right. Something is out of balance here. You're making a concrete choice because there's confusion. And there's a lot of that going on, right? So if you have a karmic person you're interacting with, they will deliberately try to create confusion. They will try to put a haze over top of you so you don't know what's actually going on. Your confusion is something that they want because they want you to stay stuck, right? But you should know that confusion does not come from creator. 
when spirit speaks to us, yes, it can be a little vague from time to time, or mostly vague, but that has to do with our comprehension and not its communication skills. Because it'll send us multiple different types of signs that we're on the right track when we're on the right track, or that we're on the wrong track when we're on the wrong track. We just have to, you know, read the messages. You have to try to see it for what it is. So it could be that you... You're recognizing this confusion and just being like, no, if this is going to be unclear, I'm going to intuitively just, no, I don't want this because it doesn't feel different and you're wanting something different. What's this Knight of Cups and Capricorn's balance? There's a relationship, Two of Cups. Remember, no particular definition on this channel of relationship. What's this Knight of Cups? Continued interaction. Somebody you already know. What is this Knight of Cups? Or at least by the time you're here, it'll be somebody you already know. Seven of Wands. Okay? So that relationship. Page of Swords. Three of Cups. So you're going to find out, Page of Swords, about some kind of reconciliation, Three of Cups, in a relationship that maybe they got into. Seven of Wands. Like they're coming to you and there's confusion and divine timing is at play. So they might be feeling defensive because they're trying to tell you about a relationship that they've gotten themselves into, a reconciliation that they've had with someone, possibly. Or a celebration, maybe there was too much drinking going on. What is this lover's card? Mm, it's a choice that thief card it's like getting the seven of swords a choice to you know lie seat chill yeah, yeah lie cheat steal what is this lover's card five of wands ace of swords what is this lover's card page of cups okay Whoever this is here, that's creating this confusion, right, with the walking away energy with the Ace of Pentacles, with that contract document paperwork, whoever that is uh, for you, um, you're going to find out, Ace of Swords, about something they did, a choice they made that they shouldn't have done. Five of Wands. It's going to create an argument. Could be with a group. Again, five of wands is a group conflict. Five of uh, wands is... Um, it's a competitive job, a sales job, or a professional athlete, right? It's a conflict. It's gossip. It's politics. World politics. Office politics. There's people not minding their own damn business. It's a conflict. Could be a physical altercation even. It doesn't feel like that. You're gonna find out, Ace of Swords, about something, some choice that was made. Either they're gonna find this about you or you're gonna find this about them. You take that as it resonates. And there's gonna be a heated argument. Five of Wands. What is this Wheel of Fortune? Feeling left out in the cold. It's part of that uh, divine timing. That's going on. What is this wheel of fortune? What is this wheel of fortune? So this person is could be in your well. There could be an overlap with this person. Between work and play. Um, you know what? It could also be that someone's looking out towards their future. Five of Cups. I mean, five of cups, because uh, five of cups in the past. Ten of pentacles, ten of cups. Well, thinking about long-term happiness, the career, the family, the house, the home, whatever it means for you, that, you know, ultimate happiness, whatever that means. Okay, because some people are about that, you know, married life, and some people are not, right? So it's going to be a matter of, you know, what does each person need? There is no right or wrong there. It's whatever makes the individual happy poverty card though they're feeling left out in the cold 
That's why they're coming and talking to you. They're looking at their long-term future and feeling like you are their best option. But there's also deceit happening here. What is this Two of Pentacles? Distant Horizon. Trying to balance what you want with the future. What's this Two of Pentacles? Two of Wands. I would look up Angel number 22. What's this Two of Pentacles? Two of Cups. I would look up 222. What is this Two of Pentacles? Four of Cups. Not being interested in being juggled. This situation can't stand is what I feel because so, I mean if you do the math right two four this is an eight because this is a four eight right and that's a ten in order to have a future with this person distant horizons right a happiness nines right nines are about like happy situations nines are the uh, completions it's the uh, accelerating to the next level tens are endings right where you you've reached a completion Nine is that last stage, but nine of pentacles, nine of cups, these are happy cards. Nine of swords, nightmare energy. It's nothing in small amounts. The nines. Long term happiness. In order to have a future with this person within this relationship, because you're standing at this crossroads, you don't want to be juggled. This is a no. You're not interested in being juggled. You want, you're not interested in imbalance and in indecision. You want to be sure you want this person. You want to be sure this person wants you. Regardless of what each of you, like whether it's a job or anything else. Someone is at front door. Okay. Sorry about that, Capricorn. So, what is this Knight of Swords in Capricorn's summer? Toil and labor. What is this Knight of Swords in Capricorn's summary? When temple is your own energy. What is this Knight of Swords? Oh, Knight of Wands. Now we have all the Knights. What is this Knight of Swords? King of Cups. All the Knights together make up the Wheel of Fortune. It's a energy of moving forward. So you could be rushing off towards work, focusing on work there. Because that's just your energy there. That could have been where your focus is. Uh, Knight of Wands, any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Sagittarius, also card of Scorpio. King of Cups, same thing, card of Scorpio. It's any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on the Scorpio, also a card of Libra, which that's also Libra energy. So you could be, what you could be moving away from and what you're like, working on maybe it's something you're working on within yourself or it could be something you're running away from in the other person which could be at a work situation is this inconsistent energy you don't like the inconsistency or this other person if this isn't you doesn't like inconsistent energy from you they're looking for the king of, uh the king of cups the king of cups to the queen of cups okay we got the king of wands and the queen of wands and we got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. They're looking for this uh, consistency, this emotional expression. Or you are, if you take it as it resonates. Advice for Capricorn, September 6th through the 13th. Advice for Capricorn, September 6th through the 13th. Advice for Capricorn, September 6th through the 13th. Hangman energy. Pisces energy. It's using one's intuition. It's something about a bigger journey, journey that you're not seeing. Six of Pentacles. There's an unequal give and take happening here. And Four of Swords. That needs to end. You need to be using your intuition about something being uneven and bringing that to an end. Having coming to a conclusion there, which is really essentially this right here. Energy, right? Needing to use one's intuition, blocking this relationship because things were unequal. Things were unequal in the past. If they were unequal in the past, they're going to be unequal here in the future. Okay. 
So do not tolerate that inequality. Don't let people treat you like you're an option. Okay, and don't treat other people like they're an option. If you have a yes or no question you would like answered, this is the time to think it, because this is the deck that does it. I'm gonna pull three cards. This is your opportunity to pause the video to, to think of one to three yes or no questions that you would like answered. Message for Capricorn. There's something better. Message for Capricorn. Wait. Message for Capricorn. Big happy changes. That is a card of abundance. So, uh, no. Wait is basically like eventually. Yes, but not now. And Big Happy Jesus is a yes. If you're playing along at home. Advice for Capricorn, September 6th through the 13th. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Advice for Capricorn. September 6th through the 13th. Mutable moon. Nothing is yet set in stone. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. A new start is coming. New moon. Okay, so we got some endings. For some new start to start to come in and that's uh, pretty normal um and it's really this is part of why you have this weight right here is because full moon in gemini the answers you need are coming so patience you're gonna find more things but make sure you're keeping yourself being your queen of cups kind of energy being that that open heart centered thing because things are still in flux so focus on what it is that you're trying to create Whatever that might be. Put your energy towards what you can create. Message for Capricorn. Message for Capricorn. A child can see. Do you remember when you were a child? We came to you riding dragonflies and dancing on dewdrops. It was no playtime, for imagination is truth. Never forget that we are your lifelong friends. Well, I hope that helps Capricorn because it is what I have for you. And just remember that you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here. 